A WARNING FROM THE DALLAS POLICE CHIEF TODAY THAT THE CITY IS ON PACE TO HAVE MORE THAN 200 MURDERS THIS YEAR. CHIEF RENEE HALL FACED SOME QUESTIONS TODAY ABOUT HER PLAN TO FIGHT CRIME. CBS 11'S JACK FINK IS LIVE AT CITY HALL WITH THE STORY. JACK? Well, Gilma, Chief Hall told council members about her summer crime initiative, her homicide task force, and the assistance being provided by the Texas Department of Public Safety to reduce murders and violent crime. But one council member alluded to what he said some people have come to believe, that Dallas has become soft on crime. There's a feeling that... Um if somebody wants to commit a crime, they can get away with it. After the surge in murders and violent crimes last month, the city council's public safety chair, Adam Magoo, told Dallas Police Chief Renee Hall there's a perception problem in Dallas that crime will be tolerated. We've got to hear a message from you and from our police department that we will not tolerate crime in the city of Dallas. Chief Hall rejected that perception. Nothing. Uh, in my leadership, nothing in our day-to-day -day activities has ever led this community to believe that we are anything other than focused on crime of all levels in this community. We have never been soft on crime. We are not soft on crime. Last month alone, Dallas PD says there were 40 murders, and that between January 1st and May 31st of this year, there were 97 murders. If the trend continues, the chief told council members the city could be on pace for about 228 homicides this year. Regarding the murders during the first five months of this year, 29 were related to an argument, 20 to family violence, 17 to robbery, and eight were drug related. One was connected to gangs. Chief Hall said the department's efforts targeting gangs, drugs, and guns have worked, but that there's more to do. We do have a robbery issue and we're focused on it and we're going to use our resources, our summer crime initiative, our assistance and support from the state to actively go after those individuals and bring them to justice. Also today, Chief Hall said that DPD does need more officers and she said that she will presenting, be presenting council members with the findings of the department's staffing study in early August. She said today DPD has hired 137 officers so far this year, seven more than the same time period last year. But the problem is DPD is not keeping up with attrition. 158 officers left the department since this year. Live at Dallas City Hall, Jack Fink, CBS 11 News. Jack, thanks for the update.